Welcome back to the channel everybody and today we're going to continue on the Subaru Impreza build. We're going to rip everything off the front of the engine. Timing belt, water pump, oil pump, cam gears, crank gear, sprocket, pulleys, idler, everything's coming off. We're going to inspect all the parts, we're going to see what's wrong, and we're going to get everything ordered that we need to get this thing buttoned up. If you're new, please consider subscribing. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up down below. Let's get started. We are going to pull off all the idlers. I think we'll start with this one and then I think you have to remove this one to get the tension off of the belt. The belt should theoretically slide off at that point. I do need to get this rear cover off because remember how I had to damage it. I ended up drilling out a couple of the bottom ones. That was the easiest way just to give a kind of a little relief to this nut so that it would just pull out. All this stuff has got to come off. The breaker bar getting work done. Here's the tensioner. Look at that. Look how crusty that is. If this goes out, you are looking at big repair bills and big time work because it'll probably take out the engine. This one is Japan NTN, so it seems okay. I mean, the actual pulley itself. But the hydraulic tensioner, I don't know if that is from residual from another oil leak coming down into it, but it does not look good. So for the $100, $150 that these are to replace, I don't know exactly, but it's not worth taking an engine out. That's for sure. Looks like I might. Oh, there we go. Here's another important one because if this explodes, it'll probably take out a timing belt. You hear that? Doesn't seem like it should be spinning that fast with that much noise. Off it comes. Thank you. Sounds all right, but it's really not worth the risk. It is Japan, so that's a good sign. Starting to see all the filth in here being exposed. Looks like a so the oil pump needs some work, that's for sure. Now I gotta remove the cam gears, which I don't have too much confidence in because these tools that I bought online cheaply, shouldn't have skimped, have proven to not be that great. We'll see, and I also bought some the world's cheapest hex impact socket set. Things are looking good here. Oh, there it goes. Well, not bad at all. I just backed out a couple bolts from this bracket over here and just let the holder tool sit up against it. It worked. This one isn't too bad. You can see the wrench slipped a little bit here and here and here. One, two, three, four teeth got some damage on it. These are like weird, I think, composite plastic or something that they use. Got some more stuff off the front of the engine. Look at that crank. Poor little thing. Um, there is a lot of sludge and nastiness under that crank, which is the oil pump. But I mean, looking around, the cam seals look decent. I mean, I don't see any oil coming out of them on either side. All four look pretty good. It's just this whole oil pump. And we have the power steering pump here that's leaking down. So I think the cam seals are good. The crank seal even looks good too. I thought this was an aftermarket. The guy told me that it had like a Crawford or some kind of aftermarket oil pump on it. The only things I see on it is on the bottom there, it just says Japan. So it doesn't look aftermarket to me. The only gasket that the oil pump gets is silicone and there is a o-ring right here which doesn't look to be in that bad a shape. It does have silicone around it as well. 
I'm still stumped on where all this oil is coming from on the oil pump. Up here, this is actually all spray paint, so it doesn't really come off. It's not greasy. The crank seal looks fine, but all down here, like the whole bottom half of this thing is just caked with oil. So the o-ring that goes out typically is here. All of these are tight. I checked those. So if this o-ring goes out or leaks, then yeah, I guess oil could shoot out and spray or leak. But all behind here, this is all fresh oil from me pulling the pump, but it doesn't look all super corroded and built up like old dirty oil. I think some of this is actually still spray paint, but this is all sludgy grease oil that's built up and I just still kind of stumped on where it came from unless this valve is loose or maybe these down here but typically oil doesn't creep up it usually goes down with gravity so if you know let me know down below I'm gonna check this out too I just pop those screws off I'm gonna check out what this plate looks like in here Ooh, there is, see that scoring there? Quite a bit. Oil pumps apart and you can see all the scoring here on the outer plate, you see that there? And it goes all the way up around here. I mean, I think just to be safe, I should probably change this. Uh, gears don't look too bad. Not that I have any experience with these, but those marks look normal. You guys tell me. Now, off with that bomba de agua. <laughs> Look at those fittings. Yeah, I think oh, we're gonna have to replace this too. So this water pump is the cast style impeller, or this part right here is actually cast versus like the gold stamped one that you see a lot nowadays. So metal gasket looks all right. Of course we re get a new one. A lot of these hose fittings or hose barbs are corroded. So I'm gonna have to change this out since we're here, since we already have it removed. It does have Japan stamped on it. That doesn't necessarily mean it's an OEM part. Um, we also still have to pull out the thermostat because we got another one of those. Finally, took forever to get everything off the front of this engine, but here we have it. The cam seals actually look pretty good. The oil pump here um, will get resealed and put a new O-ring down there, but the crank seal that went around it looked pretty good. Both cam seals over here look good, but if you look right here, there's STI cams that have AVCS hookups, but this is a non-AVCS car because the heads are 2.0 WRX. So there is one, two, and actually three, four holes that you have to tap out and plug. So the little plugs are already in there, but they are leaking. The way I found this was when I was looking at the cam gear, I noticed that there was oil inside the cam gear. And I said, why is there oil all inside the cam gear? And look, you could even see the fingers of it shooting off. So the timing belt is contaminated. I think this was probably one of the problems. Um, it's hard to tap these or weld these when they're out of the car, when, they, when they're still in the car. So I think I'm just going to pull out the inserts that are in there and put some more Loctite and hopefully we can seal that up. But everything else looks pretty good. These hoses are so swollen. I mean, I could barely get the hose clamp off. Look at that thing. It hoses are so squishy and swollen. Look at that. Oh my gosh, like a sponge. The power steering pump needs to come out now. So there is the steel braided line, high pressure right here. There is the suction hose here. Uh, I'm gonna try to drain out the fluid from the reservoir, try to keep the mess to a minimum. And then there's a couple bolts, one kind of hiding in the back, but we take the whole bracket and everything off together and pull it out and get it rebuilt. When I look around, it's got a lot of silver spray paint everywhere. So I think it might have been replaced already. It's a KYB unit, not sure if that is original or not. This is a 02 to 03 WRX side feed because the suction hose goes into the side. And the kit I got is 
comes with all these seals over here. So you can see, take off the back plate and then there's a seal here, 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 these ones here, and then a couple seals there. Um, and also that one there. I'm probably gonna be glutton for punishment on this because I'm gonna rebuild the power steering pump with the OEM repair kit. Just a couple of seals, gaskets, and a new clip. And as you can see, there's not a whole lot to the power steering pump. I don't know, I mean, I already got the kit. It was about 15 bucks. So we're gonna put it all together, see if it leaks. If it makes noises, it leaks, we're just gonna throw it in the trash. You can buy a brand new power steering pump aftermarket for a little over 100. If you wanna go OEM, you're gonna spend about four to 500. So here is what the basic timing belt kit will consist of. After a lot of deliberation and thinking about it and actually losing sleep, I went with all OEM parts from Subaru. There's a lot of kits out there that are a couple hundred dollars cheaper, but me knowing that there may be something better out there that I left on the table was not sitting well with me. So the two main idlers, you can see their coil bearings. All this is made in Japan. Um, I got the updated uh, smaller pulley with the longer bolt. This one has two, two bearings in it. The um, older style, which came off the car, actually only had one bearing in there. This is the JDM 12 millimeter oil pump. You can see the 12 up there. And I believe on the back here, it should also say 12. So that's the 12 mil JDM oil pump. And here is the OEM water pump, thermostat, and the tensioner, which also reads Japan, NTN, also NTN bearing. What came off the car had a similar setup. It had a 12 mil oil pump. I'm not sure what it was. It looked like it was a very old, maybe JDM pump, had some different uh, stampings on the casting. The water pump, it did say Japan, but it didn't say Yamada on it, so I think it was probably aftermarket. And actually, we're also going with an OEM timing belt as well. I didn't know where these parts came from. I had to get this because I broke it. Um, and there actually is a whole other parts box over here of hoses, timing covers, bolts, nuts, washers, all kinds of stuff that has to be changed. I want to do this because I don't know how old the stuff was that came on the car. Um, the person that threw it together, they could have used just stuff laying around in their garage. They could have used a water pump from some aftermarket source. They could have gotten a couple OEM pulleys and brackets, and this uh, was leaking. I mean, you saw before I was taking all the parts off the shape that it was in, so fresh start. Clean the whole front of the engine will be tidied up. We're going to have all new seals, pulleys, pumps, hoses everything and I'm hoping that resolves the issue. I don't want to go back in to here anymore. That's why I really wanted to just stick with all OEM parts. The only thing left to do now is to get all of this into that. And please watch the next video where I'm going to put all those new parts that I ordered on this car, get everything back together and get it on the road. Again, if you're new, please subscribe. Also hit that thumbs up down below. We'll see you guys in the next video.